Well, hi, it's just about uh, noon time and uh, I'm going to show you my new wat hot water heater board. Uh, these are my panels. They're uh, two 260 watt panels in series for about 60 volts. And, uh, you know, they're a little dusty. Got some leaves on it. And this is the kind of day we got. I mean, we were looking right at the sun. This is due south. So, uh, everyone wants to show you how great things work when uh, you know it's bright sun out and you know I'm not impressed with that at all because these are the days you have to worry about so this is the new board I hope this gets in focus for a while this is the capacitor bank and the uh, solar panel comes right in here and uh, this is connected to the power meter first you have to do any power meter on the uh, front side and uh, we're doing about 91 watts. Now, I got this switch over here that I can short out these FETs. I got uh, two FETs, a little piece of uh, heat sink here. It, it's just about five square inches. And uh, what's kind of unique is these FETs are in these terminals. And those terminals allow you to uh, unscrew the FET. Put any kind of FET you want in with a, you know, a higher power FET maybe, higher current, and uh, even an IGBT if you want. And, uh, you know, these are socketed, and the chips are socketed, so this is a system that uh, you could fix yourself. So like I say, we're at 99 watts right now, and flipping this switch, I can short out the FETs. So you go from 100 watts to 27 watts. And the, this array is at a bad angle. Uh, I can only get like 400 watts out of this. So, you know, that'll give you an idea of what you can get on. I mean, this is a really bad day. But anyways, uh, things are pretty simple. Like I say, solar panel connects here. The water heater connects to these two terminals. And up top here, this goes to the pot over here so you can adjust the voltage. See, we can go 65 down to 54. It's a rather cool day, so we're going to be at about 58, 59. And right here we have... Uh, Leads that go up to an LED, a little green LED, shows you that the uh, thing is running. Uh, this terminal right here, these two pins. Uh, this goes to the optional temperature sensor, and you put that on a piece of metal uh, just out your, outside your shed or house. And if it's uh, somewhat, you know, in the same area as the solar panels, getting the same kind of sun, same kind of shade, or whatever. Uh, this thing will track uh, via temperature, which is uh, close enough. There's also an extra terminal here for an electronic thermostat if you want. But this has arc interrupt, and you can go right into your uh, hot water heater uh, thermostat. And uh, it'll prevent any arcing that will damage it. So this little board... As it is right now with these capacitors will do up to 200 volts. So uh, normally I would accept, uh, you know, up to around 150 volts for an array. But that's it. And we got uh, a few of these boards. This is the only one I have going right now because of a shortage of parts. I've gotten some parts in and they were wrong. They were fake. Uh, boy, there's a lot of crap out there. Uh, this little red LED, that's the inhibit LED. Uh, it's more of a diagnostic. We use it for a voltage offset. Uh, so you'll normally see that on all the time, but it, it gives you uh, some diagnostic if things go really, really bad. Like I say, this uh, terminal's down here. Those can go to an external uh, temperature sensor, you know, one of these electronic ones, any dry contact. And up here we have a 
a, a place where you can pry, provide a little bit of external power to, uh, you know, a small meter or something like this one. If you're going over, you know, 200 volts. Because this meter is only good for 100 volts. And uh, you can make it so it, it reads one-tenth of that voltage. And, uh, well, this is it. And up here, we have normally the way the diodes are. Uh, if you're using this with an MPPT charge controller or a PWM, uh, you have to have some diodes. But generally, I, ex I would uh, prefer you have the diodes external on another heat sink. Because diodes, you can't get away from it. They're just going to create a lot more heat than this ever does. When this gets up to full power, you can barely sense that this is even warm. So at 8 amps, you know, this is nothing for this board. And, you know, I would suggest using this up to 15 amps. Uh, remember, voltage is your friend. Use as much voltage as you can. But, like I say, this is the initial prototype board. I'm going to have some of these available after I've uh, done some testing. Uh, when this finally goes into production, I'm not going to have much to do with it at all. It's going to be sold by someone else and built by someone else. So, uh, yep, you know, get in line for some of these uh, early production boards. They'll be cheaper. You know, if someone out there uh, has a history of uh, making videos, you know, I'd like to see them do it. Get a little discount. So that's, that's what I'm doing right now. Uh, I'm going to take a little time off going in for surgery, but, uh, you know, I'll be back and maybe the parts will be in by that time and uh, we'll have some more boards available. But thanks for watching. That's what's happening now.